What's up, what's up, what's up, Facebook? Charles Patrick. How y'all doing out there, man? Folks. See, I got my fresh cut. Y'all seen the video? My cat, Andre. Dre, my man, kept me up real good. Man, I know everybody been, uh, that's my man, uh, trying to get everybody on real quick. Hold on, y'all. Inviting some folks in. Hey, doing some invitations. Question, man. Y'all read the question right there. What's going on? I've been hearing a lot of this. About this sanctuary city. What's up? What's up, y'all? Yeah. Crystal clear now, right? Finally, right? Yeah. So, I've been hearing a lot about this sanctuary city in San Francisco. Uh, Ninth Circuit judge, you know, the judge that was bought, uh, that bought his way in through Obama. What's up, David? Thanks, Melissa. Um, this dude, man. Well, we he's brought in by Obama, so we can't really, you know, can't act surprised on this. But you know what, man? Black people, and I always, hey, y'all know me. Y'all done seen my stuff a long time ago. Many times. Black folks who vote Democrat and love the Democrat Party, like, you know what? Malcolm X said that blacks are political chumps. You vote Democrat, and you get nothing from it. Simple, simple as that. What's up, Kim? What's up? What's up, W. Dubs, Alicia? You get nothing from it. They're already doing sanctuary cities for illegal immigrants. When I say illegal immigrants, I'm not just talking about Mexicans. It's all illegal immigrants. You understand? Now, we know right on our border, it's Mexico, so a lot of them come over. But you got to understand, there's a lot more illegal immigrants than just Mexicans, okay? Let's get educated. We know that. They're coming from all over the place, all over the world. We have a lot of illegal aliens, illegal immigrants here. They're illegal. You understand? It shouldn't be a thing called a sanctuary city. Black folks, do they have a sanctuary city for you all for y'all as we all criminals doing something? No. You get out of prison, and you got to write that down on your application. You can't even get a job. So can you go to these sanctuary cities and get a job? It's a sanctuary city now. They shouldn't be looking at none of your background. They let these illegal immigrants come over and come into sanctuary city, and they're safe, and they get federal funding. But do you get federal funding? Mm, no, you don't. No, you don't. Black folks don't get sanctuary cities. Meaning that, okay, you go to San Francisco. So I think San Francisco is a sanctuary city, correct? You go there and you try to put a job in and say that you did something wrong. All right, say you got a felony. Go to San Francisco and put a job and watch them look at you like you crazy as hell. You better start speaking Spanish. <laughs> hey, you got to get <laughs> you better start speaking Spanish or something. Say, hey, <laughs> I need a job. <laughs> I'm just saying. You better learn some Spanish and act like your ass Spanish. Get a job. <laughs> Get? <laughs> you want to work here? Get? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, I'll speak Spanish like... like I didn't take Spanish in school. I took German, and later on, I took uh, Japanese, but no Spanish. But you understand what I'm saying, right? Farsi? You better teach, learn Farsi? No, my son no Farsi. I'm a middle son. I don't know that either. But anyway, you understand what I'm saying, right? <laughs> these sanctuary cities, man, letting all these other people... Because I'm going to tell you something, black folks. As soon as they get what they want with these... With these, when I'm saying they, I'm talking about the Democrat Party with these illegal immigrants. You let 
illegal immigrants be able to really just vote anytime, they're gonna damn. You talking about ignore your black ass? The Democrat Party will ignore your black ass. Now, first thing a black person is gonna get on here and say, well, the Republican Party don't do anything for us. The Republican Party don't go after anybody like that. They don't offer anybody anything like that. You understand? They don't offer sanctuary cities to anybody. You understand? But the Democrats do. So who you vote for is who you should be asking for things from. Remember, when, when Malcolm X called blacks political chumps back in the 60s, he was talking because blacks put Democrats in and don't get nothing for it. You remember this shit now. The first idiot that says, well, Republicans don't do anything for us. We know you're an idiot. Because that's not the point. The point is who you vote for is who should do something for you. Correct? So I know one of y'all asked it. I'm sorry. One of y'all idiots going to say something. So who's going to be the first idiot? I ain't going to name no names. Just say it. But you understand what I'm saying. You vote Democrat 90%. But you get nothing from it. Correct? Because you're only voting 90% because you think you're going to get something from it. That's the only reason why you vote Democrat 90%. Because they promise you something every four years and they come back on it and you don't get it. You don't get it. They, they make the, the media help them because right before this election, Black Lives Matter and it was all over the media correct? Now, black lives don't matter. Sanctuary cities matter because they're getting ready for the next one. That your ass ain't going to be involved in because they done gave up on you. Black folks ain't giving up on you. I'm telling you. 13% of black people, black men voted for, um, and this is incredible, voted for Trump. Was it 13, 23? No, 13%. That's way different than what it's ever been. Y'all don't get mad at me for pointing out facts. You know, I put that post on a few days ago, black folks last and know stuff. Y'all, y'all know good and well we done heard that before. Come on now. You hear it all the time in the black neighborhoods. We the last one to know something. What's the other thing they put out there? Put something in. If you, if you want to hide something from a black man, somebody else finish that one for me. I want a black person to finish that one for me. If you want to hide something from a black man, put it in a... Somebody else finish it. I didn't make this shit up. This was before my time. And I'm 48. Come on now. Let's be honest. Black folks, stop giving free votes to Democrats. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you got to vote Republican. Because you can't vote Libertarian. But stop giving these 90% votes to these Democrats that are not going to do anything for you. They had never done anything for you in the last 60 years. They're not going to do anything for you now. You understand? I've said this before also. It's like a Ike Turner, Tina Turner relationship type thing. They beat your ass and they say they ain't going to do it no more. And then they beat your ass again. That's the relationship from black people in the Democrat Party. Hmm? Wrong, Kevin. Wrong. You done never heard that before. David Scott has heard it before. David, you're right. I don't know if somebody said it earlier, but David, you are right. I'm just saying. You can't get mad at me. It's just, it's, that's just what it is. Mike, Mike Matthews, that's just what it is, man. You, They say we're going to do this in four years. Like old lying-ass uncle. You know, everybody has old lying-ass uncle. But you know, I'm going to take you to the carnival. Carnival come up. Well, I'll take you to the next carnival. Just go do that for me. Then you go do it in the next. Well, you know what? I'm going to take you to the next carnival. Damn, uh, I'm 18. I don't want to go to no damn carnival. You've been telling me that since I was eight. You ain't never done it before you at all. Democrats are like some old lying ass uncles. Just ain't never done that for you. I don't even like you. I don't like your brother, dad. Why? Because he always lying. I'm just saying. <laughs> you can't get mad at people being honest. Oh, and this Charles Patrick. I usually say it in the beginning because... I don't know why people get confused. <laughs> Y'all all look the same. Gay? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>
<laughs> Y'all crazy. Hey, I got to go. Hey, shout out Team Patrick. Inspire Network. Hey, we growing. Get in where you fit in, y'all. Y'all take it easy. Let me uh, play some more of my man uh, right here. Hold on one second. If I can get him on, yeah. This ain't Eric. Well, you know what? Eric July. Because I like Eric July. Y'all haven't heard, got Eric July stuff yet? Y'all haven't got Eric July? Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what? Before I go, you're right. Somebody said talk about Miss Walt, Miss Walters. But nah, we're going to talk about also in, in in Georgia. Don't vote for that cat, man. That cat don't even live in the district. He don't even live in the district that he's um he's campaigning for. Campaigning for. Cam no campaigning for. He don't even live in that district, so don't vote on his ass. Also out. Don't vote on that guy. He remind me too much of uh, um that old dirty Republican back in the day. I can call him dirty because he was dirty. Uh, what's that dude name? Um, Swine. Son. What is it? I forgot the dude name. Man. I didn't like him anyway. It was back when I was in high school. I didn't like him. Um, that'll pop up. In, but we got to listen to some Eric July right now. Because Eric, that's my mic. That's Eric right there. We got to get to this one right here because it's Eric July. Gotta get a shout out, Eric July. Made it to Billboard. Holla at y'all. He made it to Billboard. So, him and his group, uh, Backwards, they made it on Billboard. So, that's a good thing, man. Right, Terry. Say it again. We're gonna listen to this for a second, then we can go. Not the Fujis, man. Eric July and backwards. Yo. Y'all gotta give him a holler now. Hey. I be watching Rupa used to be the moniker. An honorable mention it was, but now I see the sign of hey. other things. Eric Rupa, you can eat the one of ATL sign, baby. Peace out, y'all. Wait, I gotta give y'all this breakdown first before I go. Y'all gotta hit this breakdown. That's what Eric July. Man. And I'm shocked calling alone like Jerry Jones or Jerry Sloan And I've never feel a scary moment And I'm upon it This opportunity is golden But you should hold up if you think I'm hold up Metaphorically my ball's bigger than the Trump Tower or the Eiffel one And you ain't gotta like it once I made you for success like a head that got the lights in them and this is elementary since 10 I've been suffering I ain't never had nobody tell yeah, yeah, right there That I will fall in the right And I ain't never had nobody tell me. Yeah. This the breakdown, y'all. This is here for this ten years. This track is aimed at these lame cats that can't rap but wanna claim that the Kang's back. Come on, all I see is clones, homes. I'm saying that you drones can't rap, spitting wax, singing the same crap. I'm not liking you, it's the truth that I might be rude. Dang, quit biting, dude. Swiper, no swiping, dude. And I mean, right now, as weak as you might sound, but like an underground water tunnel needs to pipe down. And it's so retarded. It's like y'all get to get I gotta go on that right there. I'll let y'all. Peace out. I ain't been to run for office, uh, Terry Butler, because you know what? I'm an asshole. I holler at y'all. I holler, though.